Locating bad pickups in a Rhodes piano has always been an issue for people, and we're gonna give you a little tip that might be able to help you get there faster. DC resistance of a single Rhodes pickup is approximately 180 ohms. You can check that with your multimeter on the ohm scale by putting a test clip or holding a probe on each lead. And you can see this pickup is 184.3 ohms. The pickups are wired in a series parallel arrangement that includes parallel groups of various numbers of pickups. You'll note here we've separated out the groups to show you. So on an, an 88 note piano, the first uh, parallel group is a 2. And you'll see that all the way through here there are groups of 2 pickups. Then it's a group of 3 pickups. 3 going this way. Then you have groups of three all the way down until the split point where the, uh, the treble section split point is. Then you have a group of three, and you have one, two, three groups of two, and then you have one, two, three, four single pickups. On a 73 note piano, it's a little bit easier. Your first group is four pickups, and again, it's one pickup, two pickup three pickup, four pickups, and then you have a split point, which is the series um, circuit connection. And then the rest of the piano is groups of three, all the way down until the end. To help illustrate this, we're going to use a vintage Vibe 73 harp that doesn't have the tone bars installed yet. So what you'll see here is one pickup, two pickup, three pickup, four pickups, and then there's a split. So this is a parallel grouping of four pickups. After that split point, we go across here, and we have one pickup, two pickups, three pickups, then there's another split point. So this is the series uh, connection for this set of three pickups. As we've already mentioned, the DC resistance for a single Rhodes pickup is approximately 180 ohms. We've also discussed the series parallel arrangement. But what is the parallel resistance of pickups? There's a formula for DC parallel resistance which we're showing you here. But we've done the math for you to make things a little bit easier. So two pickups in parallel would measure 90 ohms, three pickups 60 ohms, and four pickups 45 ohms. Keep in mind these are approximates. Now we're going to demonstrate measuring the resistance of parallel groups of pickups. We'll start with the group of four at the beginning of a 73 note piano. So one probe on one side of the group of four, and then the other probe on the other side. And we'll check the resistance on our meter. We'll see that it's 47.1 ohms, which is pretty close to 45 ohms. Now we'll move over to the next grouping, which is a group of three. So again, we're going to jump over the gap, and then we're going to put our meter across those leads. And this will be one, two, and three pickups. And if we check, we have a DC resistance of 62.2 .2 ohms. Again, very close to 60 ohms. I will show you a group of two on a Rhodes 88 note piano. We're in the treble section after the split and we'll see that right here there's a grouping of two. So we'll put one probe here and one probe here. And we'll see that we get a DC resistance of 88.1 ohms which is really close to 90. Now we'll move down to where it turns into single pickups. So we're going to jump across to here and we're going to jump across that gap, and that's a single pickup. And the DC resistance is 179.1, which again is very close to the 180 ohms specified. So here we have a working 73 note piano, and we're going to show you basically how you can check the whole piano to see if the pickups are working or not. So as we've noted from our chart, your first grouping is a group of four. 45 ohms. So now I'm going to move up past that grouping. So I find the, uh, the split point, which is here, where there's a gap between the wiring. 
and now I'm going to put my meter in across there. And this will be a group of three. And we get 60 ohms. Now we're going to move up another three pickups. Here's the next split, or series connection, I guess we should say. And you're going to get a reading of 60 ohms again. And basically, on a 73 note piano, you're going to continue this all the way up the piano. And you can use our illustration we showed earlier as a guide to show you where the different points are, which can also be found on, on the website. This is a Mark II 73 key white pickup piano. Currently, it has no output at all. We're assuming there are a lot of dead pickups on it, but we'd have to find them. So let's see how, by measurement, we can locate them. The first group, as we know from our chart, is a group of four pickups, and that should measure 45 ohms. It's measuring 91.9 ohms. What this is telling us is that we have two open pickups in this group. If we move over, so the next group, which is here, this is a group of three, which should read 60 ohms. It's reading 200 ohms. So the likelihood here is that there are two open pickups. So now you can see how we're finding that to be the case. While measuring further down the piano, we found a group that measures overload. Your meter might read infinite resistance. What this tells us is that all the pickups in this group are open. If you should ever read zero ohms or see a short circuit, that would tell you that one or more of the pickups in a group are actually shorted. Here we've identified a group of three pickups that is measuring 92.7 ohms. More than likely, one of these pickups is open. So what we've done is we've marked with tape the three pickups in question, and now we need to remove them from the circuit for further measuring. First, we're going to remove the tone bars to get a better ability to get at the pickups. With the tone bars removed, we can easily get in closer to the pickups in question. Here we have a group of three parallel pickups. One, two, and three. The wiring gaps can be seen here and here. If you remember, this group gave us a DC resistance reading of roughly 90 ohms, which tells us that one of these pickups is likely open. Unfortunately, there's no way to determine that without further isolating the pickups individually. We're going to start by isolating this pickup from the group. When you cut a pickup wire, you want to do it as close as you can to the pin so that you can reuse this wire and solder it back to the post. So we're going to get in there as close as we can and snip it. So now, what you see is this pickup is no longer in parallel with these two because this is a broken connection. So we can measure that pickup individually outside of the group. And wouldn't you have it that we have a DC resistance that's giving us an open reading? It tells us this pickup's open. Let's check the other two in parallel to see if our suspicions were confirmed. And a reading of 92.7 is right on the money. So we found our bad pickup. Let's say that hadn't been the case, and the reading across this pickup was 180 ohms. That would have told us that we have to go further. The easiest way to do that at that point, you just have to isolate these two pickups. So again, as close as you can to the pin, clip that off. Now all three pickups are isolated. So when we check the center pickup, we get a reading of 184 ohms, which is extremely close to the 180. And then when we move over to the last pickup, we get a reading of 187 ohms. So this confirms our suspicion at the beginning that there was one open pickup in the group. As you can see, you can use this technique 
to troubleshoot groups of pickups rapidly and then get in and troubleshoot further and make your replacements as you need. So now this was our bad pickup, so we're gonna remove it. Again, you're gonna cut the wire as close as you can to the pins. And remove that pickup. And we're gonna put in a brand new vintage vibe pickup. So we've installed the new pickup and re-soldered the wires. Now let's measure. You'll see that the, the measurement is 62.7 ohms, which is what it should be for three parallel pickups.